The beginning sucks. The beginning of a new workout, the beginning of a new business. There's so much to do. There's so much to get going and it absolutely sucks. You know why? Because it's hard. And this is why so many people don't have the lives that they want, don't have the relationships that they want, because the beginning sucks. This is the mythical, majestical moments that people want, where things just align and they're super easy, effortless. And I'm here to tell you that anything worth having is not going to be effortless. This is when things in you align, where it's easy to do whatever you wanna do. But I'm here to tell you that you're operating on the wrong information. Most people don't have the relationship they want because they don't want to work on it. They feel that certain immutable things should just happen and be in alignment without doing anything. I don't know the right person when they show up. I don't know what I want, but when I but I do know what I don't want and all that other stuff, right? And typically people are not accustomed to working. This is the difference between having a job and being an entrepreneur. When you have a job, you can hide behind people. You can coax. You can not show up on time and get paid for hours you did not work. As an entrepreneur, it doesn't work that way. You get paid on what you do. You get paid on your receipts and this is the orientation, because what I'm trying to do in this video is explain to you why in the beginning it sucks. It really does, but that's just the beginning. See, it gets much better as you go along down the pathway. Because when I first started this YouTube channel, I hated making videos. It felt awkward, it felt strange, it felt weird. But at some point, it smoothed out. And this is why so many people are not as successful as they want to be, because they don't stick with it until it smooths out. They give up, they quit, they stop, and then they go ahead and look for, quote, a better opportunity. But here's the problem. Remember how I told you guys how even though I was working all of these trash jobs, I did my best. I don't care how bad the job was. I don't care what they required of me. I always gave them my best. Why did I do this? I created a habit of having a good work ethic. See, this is where so many people get screwed is they feel that they're doing the job they're not interested in. They don't feel that it pays enough money. It's what we would consider a trash job. And they do a half-assed job on this trash job. But see, what you're doing is programming yourself to be mediocre. This is what you're doing, because it's like, I I've seen it all over social media, like, man, I'm, I'm built for better things. I need to make more money. Okay, prove it. Start something, stay with it, and get some results. The world will treat you according to your results, not your wishes, not your whims, not what you want it to be. Essentially, if you start a YouTube channel and you stick with it until you start to get subscribers, you start to get views, that is a showing and demonstration of a result. So many people do not stick around until the results come, like working out. You know, you can start working out and you're probably not gonna see visible results for months. Three to four, maybe five or six months. You're not going to see visible results for months. But unless you work out now, the future is not going to realize itself. Like right now, I'm on a workout program and I already know. I don't even check the mirror. Like the scale was actually pretty good today. But I know in my mind that I've got to work out for two to three months to see those results. They're not gonna come and they're happening right now, but they're happening like on a very small scale. Half a, a little, you know, maybe one twelfth of an inch here. That's where it's going. And most people give up way too soon. We've all seen the meme of the guy with the pitchfork. He's digging just a little bit in front of him is a big diamond, but he walks away. 
because he's just tired of digging. There was this video, see if you can find it, where this guy's, this is football coach, he's got this football player doing the low crawl with a kid on his back, and this football player, because he's blindfolded, he actually goes across the whole football field because he couldn't see where he was. And he had to just keep going and keep going and keep going until he was totally 100% out of gas. And this is where so many people are. They're looking, because they're looking like, at what point can I stop working? At what point can I stop putting forth effort? And I'm here to tell you, if you want to become an entrepreneur, you want to have that corporate citizen life, there ain't no stop. There is no point that you can ease up. There is a point where it smooths out. Like, let me give you the example. When I first started this channel, I worked full time for months without pay. Now, I didn't know how this thing was gonna end up, but I knew because I was an entrepreneur before I came to YouTube, that hard work yields dividends at some point in the future. If you're doing the right level of hard work, you will get good dividends. And I just kept, you know, adjusting because I would, you know, I started with the blogs and I noticed the traffic to the blogs was like nothing. So I came to YouTube and I started a YouTube channel and then my traffic to my blog exploded. But in the beginning, it sucked. It was hard, it was unforgiving. There was no support system, there was no cheerleaders. For those of you who have a mate, a girlfriend, a boyfriend that <laughs> applaud, gives you applause and cheers you on, you need to kiss their toes because most of us out here, we have no support system, none. It's an, you gotta be, you gotta bring out your internal cheerleader. You've got to be so internally focused on getting what you want to get to building what you need to build. It's, it's almost pathologically crazy when you think about it because every day you gotta tell yourself, keep going, keep going. There is no cheerleading section. There is no rah-rah band. There is nobody sending up fireworks. And you've got to have that level of self-motivation because it's gonna suck for a minute. Now, one of the th reasons that I did not give up on YouTube when I would put up a video and get like 30 views is this is the beginning. The beginning is going to be hard. The beginning is going to suck. The beginning is going to be rough. Just like you were working out, then you stopped, then you had to start again, and you know how rough that was, how hard that was, or you were starting a new diet and how hard that was, but you have to keep going. You have to keep pushing. The other video I put up the other day was talking about looking at success in bigger time gaps. Many people look at looking for microwave results. Like you just put it in the microwave, press the button, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, a minute, 90 seconds, then you have what you want. And real life doesn't work that way. During the suck, if you were to spend a, a year Let's just say you took my advice and you started a service business and you started washing cars. In your first four months, you was only getting two and maybe four cars a month. Then you got eight cars. And then, you know, after your first year, you were doing 25 to 30 cars a day. But in the beginning, it wasn't like that. In the beginning, it was hard. In the beginning, you were sitting around a lot. And at some point, it got to the point where you were so busy that you did not have time to even pause. You didn't even have time to go to the bathroom. You were just that busy. But in the beginning, it was horrible. It was terrible. And I'm here to tell you, this is normal. It's just normal. But so many people are looking for magnificent results from mediocre effort. It ain't gonna happen like that. It's just not gonna happen like that. In the beginning, it's gonna be rough. In the beginning, it's gonna be tough. In the beginning, it's gonna push on you. It's gonna demand that you do more, but that's just the beginning. Like right now, I look at how hard, like, I I'll be honest with you. I don't work nowhere near as hard as I used to in the beginning. When I first started this, my day conceived of me making the video. And at that time, it took eight hours to film, edit, use handbrake, process the video, go through this stuff with my computer. Cause I used to have this Toshiba satellite that when I was doing videos, 
that it would get so hot that it would like pop and it would click because it had something in it that would turn it off once it got too hot. And I would have to wait till the video, the laptop cooled off so I could put my video up on YouTube. And then I was writing, I was, I was doing a lot of stuff. And then it was the beginning, but once again, unlike you, I knew that it was like that in the beginning because when I started in the storage auction business, it was like that. It sucked. I mean, I lost so much money. People playing games, but I stuck with it. And then I remember that day that I was out in Conyers and I bought that unit that had a safe in it for one dollar. And I made $60,000 off of that unit. Just, just turned my whole business model around because I stuck with it. Because see, here's the thing. If you stick with it, you're gonna get to where you wanna go. You may not get there in the time frame that is in your mind that I should be able to do this in three months. It may take three years. But if you stick with it, you're gonna get those results. If you stick with it, this is what I'm here to tell you because time does not stop for anyone. So let's say you're 22 years old right now and you took the next eight years to develop your foundational platform for the rest of your life. There are very few 22 year olds who are thinking like that. But it's like, for the next eight years, I'm gonna work hard, I'm gonna build this business. Do you understand by the time you're 30, you could have built a business an enterprise where you could literally be at home waking up whenever you want to because you built it up. You've got people running it so you could kick back. You get these big checks. There was this entrepreneur who went on a worldwide trip for a year and he left his employees in charge of the business. And when he came back, the business had grew. He was off in Africa, China hanging out with his family, yet he had built a business that was providing him income while he was on this year-long worldwide trip. And when he got back, the business was in better shape than when he left it, and he just retired at that moment. He's like, y'all run this, I'm gonna go do this. There are many people who have this type of situation, but they went, they went through the suck. They went through the beginning period where, you know, they were calling clients, people were saying no, no money was coming in. They went through that period and then it came out on the other side. Because this is what you as a corporate citizen are going to go through. You're going to have to work really hard. You're going to have much disappointment. You're going to have much heartache. You're going to have things that are not going to go the way that you want them to go, but keep going. Because one day you're going to wake up and you're going to look around and you're going to see what you built and you're going to be so damn proud of yourself because you're just like, I built this. I put this together brick by brick. I put this together. This is something that I built and your self-confidence will go through the roof. You will be massively self-confident because you would have the receipts of accomplishment. If you don't stop, if you stick with it, if you keep going, you will get there. So for those of you who are ready to embrace the suck, the link is for the corporate citizen is below. This is the special for September. You can get in for $150 a month, 16 payments, or you can get in for $2,400 one time payment fee. Price goes up in October. So what does the corporate toolbox do for you? It gives you a corporate entity and then teaches you how to start, structure, and scale your businesses, and how to play the corporate game. This is going to take you a few years. This is not gonna happen in a few weeks. It's not gonna happen in a few months. But if you don't do the work today, you won't realize the benefits tomorrow. So the link's below. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next video.